Greetings food surfers, I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime and in today's episode we are doing Scottish cuisine. Are you ready? Start with the Brew Dog IPA. I guess this is the Brew Dog right here. I love it how they fill it right to the top. This is a full-on pint. Yeah. Easy does it. Don't want to spill any. To you, team gets on. <laughs> That is a tasty beer. Mm. It's got a fruity taste, but no heavy body. The first appetizer dish has arrived and this smells like bacon right there. Oh, gorgeous. Wish you guys could smell it. And we've got some smoked cheese here and some herring fish right here. Try it by itself. Looks like it's got some herbs on it. Kind of jerky like. Interesting. I'm really excited about this bacon right here. Look at that fatty bacon. Pretty thick. Oh. It's right off the grill. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's delightful. I'm going for some smoked cheese. Wow, it's a pretty sharp cheese. <laughs> this is a wonderful appetizer. This is a teriyaki Caesar salad. It's got avocados in it and tomatoes and lots of goodies. Lots of Parmesan cheese, egg. Yeah, there's no rules in Japan for a Caesar salad. For Scottish food, I don't know, let me know. But you gotta have some salad because we've ordered a lot of meat dishes that are coming up. Go right in for the avocado. It's very cheesy. It's got a light Caesar dressing on it. Going for the chicken. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a nice herb chicken. Wow, that's a banging salad. Mm. All righty, we've got the bangers and mash, or maybe just one banger, referring to the sausage, mashed potatoes, and a wonderful the aroma. Oh, goodness. Look at the creaminess of that potato. I guess you got to eat all of it sort of together, right? Going in. It's unlike any sausage I've ever had. Hmm. Very interesting. I think a smaller piece would be better. A little more gravy on this one. The gravy is powerful, I'll say that. The sausage, pretty basic, but nice. Definitely fresh and juicy. You can see the juice there on the side? That's what the sausage is, mostly juicy. Yeah. Let's try some of the mashed potatoes. And gravy. I haven't had creamy mashed potatoes like this in a long time. Yep, we're in Japan after all. Wow, bangers and mash, definitely banging. Look at this gorgeous fish and chips plate. That is a huge piece of fish. This is from Iceland. That's right, all the way from Iceland. And it's cod. What's this green right here? 
A peas. Comes with the malt vinegar. Yep. Whoa, that was an easy cut. It's very tender. Yep. It's got that layering. Yep, as cod does. And we're gonna hit it with some of the lemon. Get some tartar sauce here. Okay, going in. It's nice and crispy on the outside as it should be. Flaky goodness. It's got a nice flavor to it. And a nice soft texture. All right, and we're gonna try some of, not the ketchup, the malt vinegar. Malt vinegar, goes well with these. Nice thick fries. And the tartar sauce, it's a bit on the pickly side. Let's try some of the peas, shall we? Pretty basic? No. Yeah. That's a pretty darn good plate of fish and chips, I can tell you that. We're definitely gonna destroy this. Yeah, I'm gonna eat every bit of it. This is the Sunday special roast beef. Looks amazing, doesn't it? And it comes with this Yorkshire pudding served on top of beans and some potatoes, other vegetables here. Lovely color. Looks like it's cooked medium, medium rare with some gravy. How does it taste? A bit on the tough side, but it's got a lovely flavor. Mm-hmm, lovely flavor. Let's get in for some of the pink on the inside. I think I prefer it a little more pink. Let's have it with some beans, shall we? Let me soften it up a little bit. The beans are really sweet. I think this should be eaten maybe with the potatoes instead. Let's try some of this, the bread pudding. Here it is. Interesting. It's not like a dessert at all. There's nothing inside it, it's hollow. I thought it was gonna be sweeter, since it's called pudding. But yeah, anyway, that's what it is. We get some of the veggies here. Sure. The beans. The beans are the sweetest thing here. Mm -hmm. Get roast beef and potato, and some of the sweetness of the beans here. Wow, I'm not even sure how to eat it at this point. I think what I want to do is just chew the roast beef by itself. Since I hardly ever eat roast beef. It's nicely peppered, but I'd prefer it with some more sauce on it, maybe some more gravy. Mm -hmm. A bit on the tough side, but overall, it's delicious. This is called Coronation Chicken, and it's chicken with curry powder and mayonnaise and all kinds of stuff. It's got raisins. Served chilled. There's nuts in here. I'm tasting the curry powder. And the cashew nut. Yogurt. It's got a sweetness to it. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, definitely some herbs and spices. Mm hmm. Got cumin in it. Turmeric. All kinds of goodies. Raisins, quite a few raisins. And it's a shredded chicken. Nice dish. Here we go. This is an original Scottish dish. It's called haggis. Yes. And it's lamb, like organs, hormones with mashed potatoes. And they give you a little bit of whiskey to pour on top of it. Scottish whiskey. 
。いや。全然臭いし。うん I'm not so sure how I feel about this. Definitely want to have some of both here. <laughs> I don't know. I have to try the meat by itself. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's um, it is a little what pungent, I guess you could say. So yeah, the mashed potato sort of blends that out. A bit on the dry side. Maybe if the mashed potatoes had some sour cream or butter, the meat's pretty good. It's fairly moist. Acquired taste, perhaps. Hmm. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Haggis. That's a first. Yeah. You know, thank you, Scotland. For dessert, we're having a scone and some ginger cake. Let's start with the scone, shall we? It's been ages since I've had one of these. Not too hard, not too soft. I think they nailed the texture. It's just about the right amount of sweetness, not too sweet. That's why I wanted to have this first. And now the ginger cake. This is pleasant. No. And again, this one's not that sweet either. But the ginger is pretty strong, and uh, yeah, very adult-like. Definitely needs some water. Alrighty, so that is going to do it for this meal. Scottish cuisine. This is actually really a pub, a bar, but they do a full menu of, of Scottish and well, British food as well, too. The chef has trained overseas, so I thought, well, okay, some of it would be pretty uh, unique, maybe, and uh, authentic, possibly. So overall, on my rating scale, where am I going to go here today? What am I trying to say? Five out of six. Five out of six. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but... Overall, it was a nice experience, and I'm glad I came to check it out. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one.